How about you start the fucking thing? Well, well, okay. To it. Jesus yeah, Christ. Well, welcome to Trash Talk. Derek wants to talk about someone stealing gloves? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Lane, and John stole a glove? I'm not sure. I don't... No. Lo- lovely glove? He doesn't love, use love gloves. Love, love, love. love. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't love gloves. Well, lovely glove, though. My baby though, is... loves gloves. My ba- All right. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm referring to a yellow submarine, lovely glove. Uh, I don't. Blue meanies. Lost me on that one. Okay, that's fine. I'll it's a it, deep cut. I don't think I've ever actually seen... Wait, like the movie or the, uh, the album? Uh, Definitely the movie. Okay. I maybe saw that when I was a little, like, little, little kid, and it freaked me the fuck out. So yeah, I don't it's definitely like... Sense. Especially the... Um, Pink Floyd, Walls or whatever. I am the Wall. Or what is it? I Fucking am the what? <laughs> no, the Wall. The it's pink... just called the Wall. Yeah, but there's that movie, The Wall. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think it's just called The Wall. Okay. That that movie's just not for kids either. There's all those crazy animations and shit. Anyway, all classic rock made creepy fucking animations. Not well, yeah, but also seventies though. Creepy seventy animations. Seventies. You ever seen the original Lord of the Rings animated? Yeah, I, I am. God, that's a huge trippy. fan of that. God, that's weird. Oh, that actually reminds what me. Moon letters. I wanted to ask you. You brought, up, you brought up your nerd earlier. What is this new Lord of the Rings magic deck? Um, also, have you ever played magic? Yeah, I have. He's a huge ma- He has a whole of magic chest. upstairs. He has what? a chest of magic. So that's one more thing that we won't do then. Okay. What, won't, do you want to play magic with me? No, I don't want to play magic. I don't, you don't want to play guitar with me. You don't want to. I haven't played I guess guitar we play in a long time. I'm trying to think of other stuff you don't want to do with me. I don't want to do it with well, you. Well, yeah. Well, we'll see about that. Out in the open. But do you know, what is the most powerful character in the magic deck? Gandalf. The white. He has to have a no, counter, in, in, though, in too, that, doesn't In that he? one or in general, in magic general? Here's what it has to say. Well, so this is from Gizmodo. It would be the same. So it was revealed by IGN this past week. Wizards of the Coast, they do like the D&D, Magic the Gathering, giving us first look at some new cards coming in the, what they call, Universes Beyond, colon, The Lord of the Rings, dash, Tales of Middle Earth. Ooh. Hmm. Can you... Can I call my You have goblins, obviously. So... See, there's a full set or full release taken to the Wizards' prior in house collaboration. Okay, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, I did go to their main page earlier to look at this. Full release. How <laughs> sorry. I'm, they God had like it, different versions of like Gandalf. I, that's what I want to know. Oh, so he's like a creature card, but there's like Gandalf oh, okay. the White from what I saw so far looks like a pretty powerful card. But then there's yeah. Gandalf the Gray. And, like, the creatures always have a type. you know, Not always, but typically you have a type, like your goblin. Right. Or sometimes they might even have, like, a subtype. Huh. So this was creature. Um, oh, goodness. What the fuck was the word I just had in my head? Goodness, what the fuck? Sauron? That's kind of, uh, legendary Sar- creature. It's a <laughs> legendary right. creature. Gray. Do they so have, you, can gra- uh, you can let. Uh, do they have a Gandalf Stormcrow as a character you can play? Gandalf Stormcrow? Yeah, remember that? Yeah. No. Oh, when they went. AO, uh, and, um, not Aomer. Uh, Theoden was all whacked out on Saruman juice. And he's like, you have no power here, Gandalf Stormcrow. And he's like all fucked up. Cause he he's... was probably just fucked up. Yeah, he's yeah. All under the influence of Saruman. Maybe. Forgot the guy's name. I think, didn't Gandalf I once told live you as a rainbow? take his staff. I love that fucking line. I just yeah. love that. Like, oh, oh, oh shit. Is about, about Wormtail? To... Wormtongue. Wormtongue. <laughs> Grievous Wormtongue. Was that the pretty... Rima. Rima. Not Grievous. <laughs> Although, that'd be sick. No, I just want to know what some of the characters... Can you be an ant? The fuck, dude? You can, in, in, in a car, you can have an ant to, like... It probably... If they have anything like that, it's probably a forest card. Unless there's a fire ant variant. Uh, and then they would probably be, like, ant horde or whatever. Ant what do ants have to do with attack. fucking anything? It wouldn't They're be a single cool ant. Creatures. It'd be a ants? horde. A colony. What the fuck? There's no ants in Lord of the Rings. Ants. Oh, ants. Oh, ants. Yeah, that'd be ants. They yeah, already have sick. ants. Yeah, of course. Creatures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dick? I said ants. I'm sorry. Sorry. I Give her that miss Skylar I was trying to ask too much. It's just a card game for ants. <laughs> <laughs> this little tiny little fucking card. <laughs> 
That's funny. I, I thought they would at least have like some examples of like they did. I'm trying to find them. Okay, here's one. Trolls, so goblins. Gandalf the Grey, legendary creature, Avatar wizard. Uh, he has to have probably a couple pieces of land, a hobbit. Well, no, he's and then some magic, and so then he can whenever you be cast powerful. an instant or sorcery spell, choose one that hasn't been chosen. You tap or untap. So it gives you like, these different options you can apply from him. He's got a base power pretty well. Three, four. Three out of four. So three attack, four defense. I don't know what this means. I thought you said you played. No, I said I have no idea how to play magic. Oh, my God. She I just, just played I magic just tonight said... and fucking film ourselves. Me teaching how to play. Well, I mean, that my, can happen another my, my, time. My buddy Bobby, who is the manager at Dragon's Lair, who makes his living off of trading magic cards, the guy that invited me to D&D recently, that I'm playing his campaign, has tried to teach me how to play magic for 15 fucking years, and I still cannot fucking figure it out. They have variants of I some mean, of the rings. I don't fully. Cards. It should know be fucking it, easy. But I think I, th- I think I could figure it out. I'm sure I would get de- Maybe. defeated I for mean, a long time. Because I told him, like, I like easy games like Munchkin, and he goes, Well, the mechanics of Munchkin are actually harder than magic. I was like, The fuck? What? I don't know. All I know is that he rolls with like a $2,500 magic deck, and at one point he had like a $10,000 magic deck. And I think he. Don't know if he does it competitively anymore, but at some point, like his like entire life, you know, his entire net worth was in a fucking deck of cards, wow. and he destroyed with it. Obviously, be fucking better for ten Gs. Fuck. I mean, if you spend enough time and money on anything, you can be you know really good at whatever you want. Sure. In competition, I mean. In in magic. Yes. Do, like. I think you've talked about there's like an actual tournament or something. Dude, dude. Magic tournament? Dude, they're crazy. Dude, they're oh, I would need to build a whole new deck. I, I don't even think my cards are tournament legal anymore. They're too old. Have you been recently? No. Oh, okay. No, la- the last Magic tournament I went to was, again, just to support my buddy because, hey, it's fun. And it was at Krypton Comics. And this is, I mean, this is like 15 years ago. Weren't you guys on when I showed the I Bob think... Ross card I have? From... <laughs> no. It's, it's a land. Awesome. That's awesome. I got a couple other ones. It was a whole. They did a little mini series of Bob Ross. Not a complete. Yeah, stats. you Hilarious. bought those, right? Yeah, you so have that. I, yeah, it's, <laughs> but, but the, so the last magic it's just tournament land pieces. I've been, hey, couple, I've been to a couple, but the last one I was at was a long time ago at Krypton Comics, and that was the one where uh, the Domino's guy came up with a stack of pizza and he uh, just yelled because there's so many people. He yelled, "Who had the pepperoni?" And all these arms go up, and all that bo just hit me. My eyes were fucking stinging from the stink of the bo. All those fucking nerds <laughs> that you know, the, the crusty, yeah. the crusty hoodie nerds that don't shower for a week at a time. God. Damn it, it's hard to be a nerd. I mean, when those fuckers are out there. I would just put up like a bad You should like just bandana it up, you know? <laughs> Walked on in there. I eventually left. I couldn't stand it anymore. Uh, but he used to go to like Kansas City to play tournaments. It's one of those thing. things you probably just like yourself don't wear any deodorant. So like you're used to it or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't know what you smell like. You just get nose blind to it. But being around that many people, you got smell blind. Nose, <laughs> nose blind when you smell blind. <laughs> smell blind. I can't smell it. I can't smell anything. Oh, you got smell blind. <laughs> smell that Your old shit, baby. <laughs> We have a friend who's smell blind, and I think she would agree. It's smell blind. No. Yeah. It's a, it's a disease. No. <laughs> it's a debilitating Nose disease. Nose blind is referring to when you get used to a smell, you don't smell it anymore. Your brain turns it off the receptor or whatever to recognize that as Nose a smell. Nose blind. That's yes. That's why if you live like you know, like, like you don't know the smell of your own house, you know, because you're in it all the time. Until you like go away for like a week, you come back. Well, and you, oh, like, it smells like you don't. You're not aware of what you smell unless it's like fucking obvious. Your personal smell, you don't know what it is. That's true. Because yeah, yeah. I mean, like you go nose blind. We don't have dog senses, you know. It's it's just you like a crying like baby. That. After a while, you're just like you don't even notice it. Yeah. For because sure. it stops Every- crying because it's a baby, and if you don't acknowledge it, it will die. You're a baby killer, aren't you? You Would know you what eat I eat mean. yourself? You know Would what you I mean. Would you eat yourself? You know what I, <laughs> We've been I washed down the last cool boat was. <laughs> Have you actually, so since the last show, yes. when we talked about you eating yourself, 
and oh, how yeah. you would start. Yeah. Have you given it any more thought? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> but I stick with my foot first. Because, <laughs> again, you need your fingers to eat your foot, to cook your foot. What do you think me. is the last thing you can reasonably eat? Um, Lips? You would bleed out unless you had, like, a cauterizing iron or whatever to steep, stop yourself from bleeding. You would just bleed out by the well, time it got to your shin, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would. You'd bleed out immediately, honestly. <clears throat> but if we're playing Star Wars rules... Your Make lightsaber, ham, yes, cauterize. Yeah, because that, at that point, you can just like cauterize yourself at the knee and be like, "All right, cool," and just like yeah, prepare. So if you were doing it that way, would you chop off like just a limb and then toss it in the freezer and wait till you finish it and then go for another part, or would you sit there in one sitting and just eat as much uh, of yourself as you could? Well, the competition, you have to ration yeah, but it. yeah, but the competition is how much of yourself can you eat before you like you die. Well, or just at least who can eat the most of themselves. So why, what's the point of freezing it? Well, I guess I was I forgot that we had it set up for no, I was the race like, how fast you could eat yourself. No, I'm not down with that. I, Wasn't it like you would get a ton of money, but if you died it would all go to your family, so it was like guaranteed that somehow <laughs> Sure. Like I, I don't know, it's not something. a real thing, but yeah. Yeah, in some fucked up world that could be a thing, Derek. I would boil my foot like a like a pig's head. You know, you just straight, you know, so the meat just falls off it. And then my calf, I would uh I do a salt about a third, about a half hour of salt rub. Let it sit for a half hour. If you had to sit and just eat for do one a hot go. do a hot screaming hot cast iron with a little bit of oil just to sear both sides, and then finish it off in the oven in the oven for you know whatever it takes. Well, to that's get. how you cook anything what's, nicely. What's the safe There's temperature? There's an episode in Seinfeld kind of about that. Kramer cooks himself in oh. his new hot tub. Oh. He, he just, even puts butter on himself. Yeah, he's just in there like <laughs> what the fuck? steamy and stuff. What's the s- like seasoning himself? In there. <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, the when safe? He comes out and gets hungry, tries to eat him. <laughs> what's the safe uh, temperature to eat human? Like to cook him to? Uh, it depends on how you like your meat, but probably you know. I mean, chicken is like one. I've heard human is very similar to pork, so I guess. Yeah, because like because cannibals is referred to long pork. <clears throat> To cannibals. You want to slow cook it, really? Yeah, but so basically, treat it like pork. Then. I would, I would, I would like try so what, to internal temperature dry it like out. One hundred and sixty or something, or is it gonna be higher now, like two twenty five. Also, you don't know what like diseases. Or, or, I mean, you know, what what things are in human flesh? You don't know. I don't know what's in a pig, and I eat it too. Especially right, but you cook it high enough tacos. to kill the trichomonosis. Or trich- trich- they were tacos. Trichomonosis? Trichomonosis. What kind of the pork worms. is in there? What else is in there? What kind of pork is in tacos? Maybe little fingers. What? Yeah, probably. What about pork tacos? If you were going to hide Lane's human... claiming that the people preparing you, your pork tacos are chopping their own fingers off into it. If you... Okay, uh, so that's say why it's this. so good. Because in Mexico and other Central American countries, it's been... People have been super poor... And war and stuff say. has happened. Like, if you were to hide a human body in some sort of... Oh, barbacoa. Barbacoa yeah, would because be the sh- one? you shred it up. And season it the hell yeah. out of it? Yeah, you don't, yeah. Because it's, it's close to the pork. We just discussed, as we have set precedent, human is like pork. That's why it's called long pork. Yeah. So barbacoa is pork. Is barbacoa the one they, they put on the spit and they shave it off when you're... That's El Pastor. El yeah. Pastor has God, oh, God, I want El Pastor tacos now, son of a bitch. <laughs> I see them when they wrap around <laughs> I like... Trying, I hate talking about food because I want so food. So they chop it off of there, you get a little bit of pineapple in it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. There's, that would, there's, that would a, nice. there's a There's uh, a church. It's a, a Jesus es el Señor. That's the big sign on Jesus the side of the church. Jesus is a senior? I don't know. No, the senior. Senior, I asked my, uh, uh, I asked Javi about this, and, I, and I, he didn't really give me something. a something. Senior or savior? Senior, it's spit. Senior. Anyway, there's, it's, it's like an honorific. Salvor, it's honorific. It's not just sir. It's honorific. Doesn't matter. A big ass church. It's a big church at at Forty uh, Second and Q that says. So it's uh, not Jesus. It's Jesus. 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 Es el pas- Damn it, Senior. Anyway, their uh, uh, their parking lot every like like one Saturday a month or I don't know regularly in the summer they have this like three big tents set up and they're selling El Pastor for like cheap. And I, I've never been able to go, but God, I want it. Just sit there, just bring a lawn chair. Like, all right, give it up. <laughs> just give it up. <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool to have a setup where you could do like your own little oh. spit, you know, and make something like that yourself at home. Uh, you got, you're halfway there. Yeah. I mean, you can do it with the smoker. You need something to, 
don't know. As soon as you, you, you can get, want those around, you can get the electric, flame, you know? electric ones. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to spend that money on something. Oh, whatever then. To cook a human leg. Wait a second. Oh, if yeah. I'm cooking the human leg, I better be getting the supplies paid for by someone else because I'm taking all the risks. I, I can get your leg. <laughs> I didn't say I couldn't get a leg. Oh, 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 oh you know, you know, Marco? Okay. We're talking about with like what you have. Yeah, I'd figure out something with the smoker. It's <laughs> the best thing I got. Oh. Finish well, it off, maybe a little pan searing with the you fire. Do some, you want to smoke something sometime this spring? Sure. I mean, I'm sick of it. I mean, fuck it. You got a smoker. Yeah. I would love some pulled pork. I'll, I'll, I'll prep it everything. I'm down. I like, I like, I don't know why everybody knows. I have smoker. a really good I pork like prepping. rib recipe okay. for a smoker. It's really good. Okay. Oh, you want to do brisket? I've never, I don't think I've ever done a brisket. Brisket's a fucking investment. That's like a lot, like 18 hours. It's a fucking. Yeah, it definitely Jesus. takes a while. I did a brisket. Well, that's why pork butt's a little easier. I did a uh, Wagyu brisket like in August of 21. And it was the absolute best thing I've ever put in my entire mouth. It was insane. Hmm. It was insane. Uh, I, can, I can or, imagine. I can imagine. It's, also, it might be because I was dr- I got drunk. I drunk and so- got drunk and sobered up twice in the time it take- took to cook it. We were up for that entire all night. We, it went for 18 hours. So we were up for like maybe 36 hours total in the whole thing yeah you gotta clean prep so i think i mean i was so fucked up i think that like that's why i was so good but then i had a bag no i've had like oh no it is that good i've had fresh brisket like that it's wagyu brisket yeah it sounds even better brisket you know oh but you might even make it a bit i've never had wagyu brisket dude it is in i got a ton of brisket from my dad left over from the super bowl and i chopped it all up made homemade street style tacos oh this season it was some basic you know, garlic, Wait, is that chili what you powder, were feeding us? cumin. Was or that was turkey. That was turkey. That yeah. turkey lasted forever. I ate it all. Holy shit. Dude, you brought that to the fucking New Year's, man. That lasted I refroze more. a whole yeah. bunch of it. I understand that, but it's still, that last. maybe this year don't get such a big bird. Because that was a lot Yeah, it was a 20-pound bird or something like think, that, I think. Man, I just don't think that much got eaten that night, too, really. Yeah, no. maybe. I mean, like, a lot of it got ate, but it was just a lot of birds. Ooh, what's your... I know we're out of season My for My brother this. was like, oh, it's like a pound a person or something like that. And oh, just, God. Well, no, it's a lot. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, because I don't even think I okay. ate that much turkey. I got some recommendation went for it. Now, we're not in the season here, but what would you prefer? A big turkey or a bunch of, like, Cornish game hens? I've never had a Cornish game hen, oh, and so I've always good. wanted to try one. You know what Cornish game hen is? A bird. Fuck! Yes. It's just a type of chicken. It's All it is is an immature chicken. It's a teenager chicken. That's all it is. No, there's different like no, types. No, no like, I'm telling you, a Cornish game hen is just a chicken that I, is not mature. I bet it's a specific type of hen, though. They don't Possibly, take, yes. You know, like, but the, it's like, just like ones. a regular chicken like you would buy at Tyson. It's just the same chicken. It's just a smaller yeah, maybe. But type, type I had fun to like um, to like smoke like twenty of those. It fuckers. says here you can from Wikipedia. You can always order the Cornish like, game hen. Also, rock Cornish game hen is a USDA approved name for a particular variety of broiler chicken produced from a cross between Cornish and White Plymouth Rock chicken breeds. Hmm. Oh, They're think... served young and immature, weighing no more than two pounds. So, told you. I don't know. Why I'm All right. I'm gonna eat a Cornish game hen. So I'm thinking, like, I don't know if you wanted to do that. Do Let's they see. have Cornish turkeys? <gasps> Probably. Holy Can shit. you crossbreed turkeys Holy and chickens? Sh- uh, I, I'm sure. Like the yeah, mule? it's called a turducken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! You guys ever had a turducken? No. Oh, no, it's but, so good. But that's what I was thinking oh. when you said that. Like, if. if Taking the time with something little like that, you might as well like order a pheasant or duck or a goose. Damn, we got okay. A we got, goose. We gotta stop talking so, about food. Son no, of but a think bitch. about. Have you ever had a goose? A goose is yes. like so much smaller I've than a duck. turkey. Everyone would go out of their way to to sample some nice smoked goose or whatever. Have you had goose? Oh yeah, it's delicious. Definitely, especially a smoked one. Probably the best way to go about it. Which is what you have, right? Somewhat of a smoker? Yeah, it's a smoker. It would fit a goose, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would think so. But that turkey was fucking huge I put in there. 
How much did you spend on the turkey, too? Oh, man. That was expensive. That was at least 50 bucks, maybe more. Oh, I mean, that also explains why it lasted so long. It was probably a fucking huge one, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, they, so they either had, like, some really small ones or there was, like, that guy. So they like, I need to make sure I have enough. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, if you were to ever do something like that again... I don't need as big of a turkey. Don't, yeah, and instead of doing turkey, just do, like, a nice-sized, plump goose and... uh. Is that how you had goose was medi- or smoked? smoked? Yeah, definitely. And I'm sure you could oven roast the goose as well, but like you have to baste it and everything too, you know. Okay. But um it definitely has a a gamey or taste or whatever, but if you smoke it, you know, it like really kind of seals it in like uh, like Batman seals in the flavor. <laughs> yeah. That gaminess? Uh yeah, I would say so. Look it up. Smoked smoke goose recipes. I bet there's a I bet there's a bunch. Probably have to use some like different Ooh, is there anyone uh, is, sealies is there anyone whatever, in, like is there, pumping it full of blood or blood. Uh brine. Brine and is butter there, shortened is, fat. Is there is there anywhere in Omaha to get baking duck? Uh, probably you know, not. I'll talk I know just, I would order online. I can Google I it, yes, but I want to. No, I, mean, I want to go somewhere and have this fresh is bacon. Goose duck. is like the filet mignon of the waterfowl world. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it really is, dude. It's a recipe for smoking. <laughs> they usually get, sell them for ten bucks or so at the, per pound. What if you went at the Asian market? Which is like eighty bucks for about ten pound frozen goose. Is what this guy's seen at the. Yeah, dude, I can see that. Oh. Oh, you just go get baking. Okay. At the grocery store, you can find a duck, probably. I want it fresh! Uh, no, there's not like a fresh wet market. We've no, just God talked damn about it. this. <laughs> I want to go to a restaurant and order baking duck. Oh. How is that so goddamn hard to understand? Well, there's, there's multiple things that cook Do you even know what the fuck That's baking duck though. is? Seasonal, seasonal, though. No, I, was like, I would, I guess, see wild duck on the menu places. Okay, so you don't know what Peking duck is. No, Great. it's a baking duck. Peking. Peking. Not baking, Peking duck. Do you know what he's talking about? No. Well, explain yourself. Chinese Peking duck? Explain yourself. You act like I'm a retard. Yeah, it's it's a Peking duck takes like like three or four days to make. What's the dish besides duck? Damn it. Ah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I know it's just So know you know nothing duck. about it. You had like I've just shirt. seen it. I don't know what to dish with, duck. but they, they they dry it out, like they hang it, they brine it, they you know cook it. It takes like a like forty five minutes to an hour and a half to cook it because it's duck fat and it's rendered super slow or something. Uh, it sounds like just a, a, a are uh, you goddamn kidding me? No, you eat Chinese food. You go to pe- penis like a, press a and you've never heard duck. about. That's all it is, probably. A no, Peking duck, duck is a, it's not a fucking breed of duck. It's the way you prepare the duck. God damn it. Lane, how do you not know what Peking duck is in your 35 years of existence? No, there doesn't know either. The duck is first marinated with spices. Thank you. Which is a lot of stuff. Maybe you do that with everything. Then steamed until tender. So steamed cooked. Finally deep fried until crisp. Oh. Chinese love steaming stuff. Does it come out like... The crispiest tits. On the stick? No, I I don't know. So the meat has less fat and is drier and crispier compared to that of like a... Oh, sorry. This is compared to that of a pecking duck. Do they do it or in pecking. pieces? Wings? Or like... So that's duck? crispy duck I just described. Oh, so I didn't sound this is the it. difference between crispy duck and pecking duck. It sounds like just a different way to cook things. <coughs> they even like raised a specific breed of duck for this. Baking duck is a dish from mm. Beijing that has been prepared since the imperial era. The meat is characterized Beijing by or thin, Nanjing? Skin, skin with authentic versions of the dish served mostly in a, with a skin and little meat sliced in front of others by the cook. So it's also an experience. So the ducks are, are made and, and prepared in Nanjing. And then a relocation of the Chinese capital, Beijing. That's where the supply barge traffic area increased there. So I think I, is this like some sort of? I think they raise the ducks one place and then bring everything else together in Beijing and cook it in Beijing. I just gotta know one thing, John. Is this from like an anime? 
Are you goddamn kidding me? How do you know about Pay King? I'm Doc? fat. I watch. I was you raised. You can order it. On I've, the I've Food seen Network. It. You can actually order it from uh, Are you okay. the Golden China me? Palace. Blue and Fly here in town's got it. Is this like the filet mignon of duck or something? Is that why it's a big deal? I don't know. It's a method of eat, making it that people apparently like. It probably is like ancient traditions and shit. Not everything in Asia has to be a goddamn ancient tradition, you Sa- son of a bitch. Sacred ducks. <laughs> sacred ducks? <laughs> you honor my family with a sacred duck. No, I must eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one making the noises. Okay. Imperial era. <laughs> so whatever imperial China is, probably assume 1800s. Uh, all over. I mean, that's like that's like nowadays. It's, they're nope, still that's imperial. That's not imperial. There's you know where no... China's at now? I mean, it's a big <laughs> country. God, imperial, imperial China. What era means, was imperial China? It means nothing to me. That means China. To me, you know, like, gotta be. Well, I guess that ended around the 1800s or so. Gotta be fucking. They're kidding all me. still an imperialistic society. Peking duck. <laughs> 900 to 1800 was imperial. That's when they actually had an emperor. They don't have an emperor. No, they have a. Uh, you ever read uh, the article on Dish? Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. What happened? What, to, what happened to the imperial? Let me guess. Emperors. This is what you were reading specifically. Peking duck is a dish from Beijing oh. that has been prepared since the imperial era. Stop. stop. P- 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 There's a lot of peas in there. <laughs> Peking duck with a pill of pear. P- 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 Bend your thingy down. Bend your thingy down. No, 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 no. Just, just, just. Bring it up. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, ow, bro. Ow, it hurt. Too much. Just a no, little. No, yeah. Bring maybe. it up like like this. Like one of these so you don't go p- 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 right into it. <laughs> is that better? I don't know. Peter Pepper picked up pickle peppers. Peter Peter Pepper Peter, Peter, Fuck Yeah, that's better. Peter picked up pickle peppers. Pickle peppers, Peter <laughs> Pepper picked. Penis. <laughs> then you're not even saying it. She sells seashells from the seashore. She sells seashells from the seashore. Watch wood and we'll check wood. Check out the wood and we'll check wood. We'll check good check wood. Well, pretty chucky. We're watching Derek have a stroke in real time. This is very interesting. Yeah, he's got it. He clearly did not got it. He had it. I don't think so. He's got a little excited, that's all. Anyway, Peking Duck. It's like a beef so wellington. So, can we talk about how did... Uh, Peking Duck's like the beef uh, wellington, is that what you said? Yeah, it's like beef wellington, where it's, it's like, you're not going to make it the wellington of the waterfowl world. Yeah, you're not going to make it, it Goose good. being the filet is this, is this something, though, that there was a dynasty that got overthrown and the... And the God damn it! <laughs> And the ducks survived imperialism and are still like a traditional Japanese art. It's Chinese. These Japanese ducks. It's Chinese. Chinese, sorry. Yeah. Asian. It's ancient Chinese tradition. It's that. Of imperialism. No. Imperialistic ducks to eat them. Oh, my God. Is it for, I, excuse for, fucking me are, for trying to talk about a cultural dish and y'all being assholes are about Are these it. ducks free when I eat them? No, they're communist. <laughs> the dish is said to have originated during the 13th century in Hangzhou, not far from Shanghai. Spell, sp- spell what you just said, Hangzhou. Hey. Shanghai. H-A-N-G-Z-H-O-U. <laughs> Uh, Zhong. Hang Su. No, Zhong. That Z8 is a. They have a soft C. Hang Ji. Su. Hang Ji. Just making noises now. You're not even fucking trying. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That was bad. I don't know. It's a Peking duck. I don't. Peking. Peking. Peking duck! I still think you should just cook a goose. God damn it. So when (laughs) we talk about this all the time, people from Papillion here in town. They know that if you make orders from a oh goodness what it's called it's in Brentwood Square in front of the old Baker's off 84th Street and like Giles basically I think a little bit north of that what north, north. yeah north there's a oh yeah they're famous for their soup uh it's, a, it's just oh, man I gotta look oh, it up here oh I know what you're talking about yeah I know I know, I know yeah yeah Pub- there's a whole strip that I don't really know. So. That, I used to go there. Planet Asian Fitness is there. Restaurant. Yeah, Planet Fitness is in Brentwood Square. I remember yeah, that. it's right in front of Planet. No, that's Ming's. <sighs> well, there's that like standalone place I've went. I've been to. Oh, okay. So you said Brentwood Square, right? Not the the gym. Which one did you say? No, no. I, Planet Fitness was in Brentwood Square, so I drove. I went there all the time. I went to this one place during COVID. It's- 
Drag Cafe. What? Drag Cafe, what you want? <laughs> Dragon? Dragon yeah, Cafe. Yeah, I went there Drag once. Cafe. I, I think like, we went there once right. with Dan, or I did at least, a long time ago. I think when we still lived on Dodge. I've never been there. And we got a bunch of, I got sashimi. Dan had a bunch of sushi. It was his birthday, I think. Oh, it was one of his, okay. Yeah, if you guys went for sushi, I didn't go. Yeah. <sighs> Drag Cafe. What you want? When he calls for those two. What you want? What you want? Did he say, she's... Check up, fam. What you want? Yeah, wait, is that real? They actually did that? Yeah. Oh, my God. People that's great. literally used to call them just to laugh and hang up. That's fantastic. Oh, Dragon Cafe, know. what you want? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was that's... means. My family was more of a means. So I started going to the Dragon Cafe uh, in high school with a buddy of mine. He was like obsessed with their soup. It's still there? Dragon Cafe? Soup? Yeah, it's still there. Means is still there, too. You can call them right now and they do it. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, I'm gonna, that, I'm they pulled up right here. Probably going to go by Rice Bowl on the way home. No, no. Just, now we're just talking about to call. Now, beings, when you call them, they always say, like, it. you put your order in no matter what. they always say, okay, 10 minutes. And they hang up. Drag Cafe was, Drag Cafe, what you want? <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, just come get it. Chinese food is always interesting foods where it's like, it's either really good or it's okay. Or I, I've had bad right, Goldilocks. I've had really, bad really Chinese good. food. I've had bad Chinese food. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I have to because like you can have a bad cheeseburger and a really good cheeseburger. You can have shitty, yeah. shit, but you know, shitty pizza is shitty still pizza. okay pizza because it's still uh, pizza. I don't Unless know. It's, if I uh, eat some shitty pizza nowadays, and well, I'm you not probably had cat. Unless it's night flight. But they also have a lot of methods of cooking that our palates aren't accustomed to. Uh, here. True, true. Yeah, because I tried making. This, Steam a lot of stuff, yeah. even textural things. They have like Chinese? a technique. Yeah, they have a technique. I can't remember what it's called, but they'll take like uh, kind of like mallets basically, and then the morning before the restaurant opens, they all sit around this big table and they just pound fucking meat. Uh, and I think they'll they what I think you can do it with fish, but I think you get a certain cut of uh, cow, and they hit it so long that it turns into like a pink gelatinous goop. And then they make mm. balls out of it and boil it and put it in soup. I've had this. It's, oh, is that bao? It tastes all right, but the, the, the texture of the meat is you just, it's unlike any type of yeah. beef that, you've ever had. Interesting. So some sort of beef dumpling. Right? No, no. No, they make meatballs and boil them, and they, they probably actually make a broth out of it. It goes in soup. It's a boiled oh. meatball made specifically for a soup. Boiled meatball soup. Yeah. I want to try that. Huh. Damn. But yeah, they just makes sit there for like two hours just beating this fucking meat up <laughs> until it's just a big old puddle life. of pink mush. Well, that's the story of my life. <laughs> they mix all meats together? <laughs> they mix all the meats together. Oh, okay. All, every, the shrimps with the meat. Meat mush meat. orgy. Mm. Wow. When was the last time you went to Who Hot? Uh, last year, probably right around this time. I went even, in, I think, in this year, technically. And it was an experience, again, that I've kind so of for, the last two months. forgotten about how, like, just watching your food spin around the table or whatever, and it gets done or whatever. The chapel and stuff. Yeah. How was Genji? How was Genji? And I've always been bad at mixing them. Genji was good. Wait, how do you mix it? Still, it's good. It's what are you bad at mixing? Yeah, thing, how are you I, bad at mixing? They mix it. You get garlic, maybe some sesame well, seed thing, oil, like, and put some fucking spices on it. Or oh, like dude, they have, like, else, they have like 30 sauces. Yeah. And they're like, well, who knows? oh, only five to eight or something, you know? They recommend, yeah, so don't fuck it up. But then you like have two bowls, too. You can do like... Double it all. Or oh, I always do two bowls. Yeah. One's for toppings, one's for noodles. Oh, I, I, you I always... No, you gotta put... Or yeah, one's cook meats, all. one veggie. I always do one bowl. That way I can... If I like it, and then I just come... You know, I just keep going through. I got one Because I don't want to wanna commit with. to one thing. There's so much to do. That's yeah, where I, I discovered I, Zoodles. I only do one bowl and, at dude, I love Zoodles. You know? Fuck. Zoos? Zoodles. Zoodles. Zucchini noodles. Zoodles. Oh, yeah, yeah. They have those there? Yeah. I discovered I them I missed that. And they were fucking great. Wow. They have some of that randomly. Like, it's not always consistent. I'm not Maybe sure. It is. I probably put some zucchini in my thing, I think. But, I mean, Zoodles was like... I know. There's certain stuff I just see like, every so So they have certain spots or slots there at that location. They're just rotated, whether it's a vegetable or meat. Some sort of squash, though, right? Yeah, I think I've seen things like that. There's yeah. a lot of different noodles. Damn, I, oh, I want to go to Hoo-Hot, but it'll be a What else can you time. noodle? Pumpkin. <laughs> you can you can make noodles out of anything. Is yeah. it pumpkin or squash? You just got to gotta spiralize it. I've got nipples. Can you noodle me? Yeah, put it through a spiralizer. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because the skin would noodle. 
you know, and you then you have to. What do you mean spiral? You like pull it tight with a knife. You're getting spiral noodles there. You never. They're not. Spiral with a spiralizer. I don't have a spiral. Oh. oh, you mean for cutting out of cucumbers and shit? Well, it's 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 it's, it's the there's like a it's the a meat grinder. This, yeah, kind of like a meat grinder. You suction cup this thing to the to the counter, and you shove. Where is this going? And you shove. <laughs> and your, you sit on and it. And you meat shove your vegetable. Goes into it. You shove your vegetable to the to the the turner, and then you have a. a, a Why what? do you refer to your penis as the vegetable? Because uh, it looks like <laughs> a gnarled a root. <laughs> it looks like a gnarled root. Um, a squash. It's, it's covered in dirt. Uh, That's a, is that a tuber? That's not really a plant. You know, it's how not I, a tuber. You know how I know you're gay. It's not a tuber. <laughs> it's a mashed potato. <laughs> anyway, so and then you have like these different blades that you can choose from for what you want. But then you sit there and you turn it and you push. And it sits there and it spiralizes. Did you say turn it or turn it? <laughs> well, you can use a turnip too. Uh, but then mine and broke because I got tired of doing it. So I, st- I, I pulled the, the lever off. Well, this I, is made specifically for vegetable making z- yeah. like spirals. Yeah. Okay. And I got bored. I got tired of cranking it. So I just ripped the handle off and put a drill on it. And you know, <laughs> and you ruined it. So, no, it's great. Oh. And now all I do is I just hold the blade because it's, it's like in a plastic frame thing. I hold the blade in my hand with a drill and just push like, you know, a sweet potato. I just push it. And it goes, Zip! I spiralize a sweet potato with like five seconds. I had oh. a hand crank when it sucked. You just said you didn't know what it was. I didn't say I didn't know. Uh, no, I said, you looked at me and said, you don't have one of those? And I thought, and I go, oh, was that where you, the vegetables? I go, yeah. I've, Not a Vegematic. No, like I said, I had a hand one. You just It's just a cheap little, you hold the thing in your hand, and you just twist it by hand, too. You have to yeah. put one cucumber or one zucchini yeah. in at a time? Yeah, I, yeah. I you know, maybe I could have gotten a drill, and tried, but it was only like this fucking big round. Yeah. So I got the was it's I, I, I like glue, glue Damn. a little fucking oh thing shit I don't know I'm doing I get home fuck I was trying because I've been just making chopping zoodles. up sweet potatoes and well I'm, I'm a meal I was gonna fuck I have meal prep I got a meal prep fuck um I do a meal prep my think uh, about the yams sweet my sweet taters damn I do that some yams so yeah sweet some yams I have a drill in my it's house a little I different take it out to the garage yet so. sweet potato and yams y- no they're, they're not yeah they're the are. same thing. I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to die on this hill. <laughs> I think it's just a different <laughs> term for a different type. Yam is a different Is there any more alcohol live. in this house? Make it. You want some Bacardi and or- OJ? Bacardi and OJ? Yeah, I, I do. Break. Oops. The 9 out of 10 doctors would not recommend this. Or 9 out of 10 dentists would not recommend it. This is a shot of what exactly? <clears throat> Peppermint schnapps and... F- <laughs> a drip of OJ? <laughs> an Here's us taking shots of schnapps with a drip of OJ. Oh. It's a mouth of toothpaste. The... That's typically where toothpaste goes. Mouth toothpaste? Mouth toothpaste. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... I don't know. I was just trying to come up with a dumb name for it. I want to say it's called 9 out of 10, because 9 out of 10 dentists would not recommend this. Mint juice. Mentorange. Mint berry crunch. Mentorange. The, like... <sighs> well, anyway. We warned you not to do this. All right, well, cheers. This is going to... I said orange, are, are not you recording? Are you drink. recording? Are you recording? Yeah, we're recording. Okay, I just want to make sure, because I want I to get... <laughs> you got halfway through, you bitch. <laughs> no, I just I was laughing at Derek. It's not bad. It kind of takes the edge off. I kind of wanted to mix it a little bit, but it doesn't really do a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, maybe I could have a little more orange juice. <laughs> that was actually not bad. You might, did you? How much orange juice did you have? Not much, but I was expecting to be like toothpaste and orange. juice. It was better, know? way better than I was expecting. Anyway, you got this, and this the, was. Peppermint schnapps. Yeah. Has kind of a nice pecan aftertaste. Star. Can you put that rum in that glass real quick? Just real quick. Just real quick. You got five bucks? No, you have to do, do both of it. Uh, best I can do is a hand job. Why, why wouldn't you do the five dollar hand do job? more schnapps? Well, I mean, if it's worth five dollars to you, whatever. I was willing to give you a ten dollar hand job, but now you're only getting yeah, five. I was going to spit on it, but no. <laughs> spit away. Hmm. Would you like a lime? <laughs> <laughs> Do it. 
<laughs> no. Not really. You already had the schnapps in your mouth still, right? Like yeah. the mouthwash feeling kind of, you know? Or not mouthwash, more like you had banaka. Don't put a lime in it. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Just a little garnish. What the fuck? You're like, you can have this, but I'm going to fuck it up for you. <laughs> it's not going to fuck it up. Well, then, would you put yeah, one you in your own? You ever put lime in or a screwdriver? Would you You're put not gonna... one in your own? Yeah, asshole. Would you put one on yours? Look at that. That does look very appetizing. I'm not going to lie. If this were rum, it is rum. Coconut rum. Excuse me. Coconut rum. Actually, oh, a little good. tequila sunrise. Actually, this might be good because it's, it's Bacardi. I didn't real. Actually. Squeeze it in there. Well, God damn it. That's not delicious. It's oh, it's citrus. Of course it mixes well together. Derek, I think you should try it with your own. Yeah, I just realized. Basically, this is just like a... Uh, what do you make with coconut rum and pineapple juice? Like a <sighs> zombie. I can't think of the name of it. A zombie. It's because it's like a ma- not a Maui no. or uh, Mai Tai. Yeah, yeah. But that's it's different though because they like do the zombie is like a Mai Tai without rum, I think, or without pineapple juice or something. Huh? Without the coconut. Without the coconut, I think. Huh. I don't know. I like I like my ties Dude, for sure. I bought a uh, a coconut like paste stuff at the at the grocery store like a long time ago when I was making. I like coconut. Or, I like coconut so juice in the summer. Water, I, I the still cans. have it. No, it was like a, like a paste that you like just drip into the blender so it blends up so it's like a super concentrated so you don't have to fucking deal with your know, coconut juice. Hey, this shit is two hundred and forty calories like per like. Half a teaspoon. Is it just ground up coconut? I don't know. It's like, well, basically, it's because it's basically sugar Paste. and coconut. It's like an emulsified sugar coconut or mix. extracted. And and I was making a, I was making something summer, but I, it had you know pineapple, uh, coconut rum, or maybe regular rum. Maybe I got it because I didn't, couldn't find. Oh yeah, because I didn't want to pay for um, who makes the coconut rum the pair um, the white the white bottle the. The Bacardi? No. Malibu. 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 I don't Malibu. Pay, I don't want to pay for Malibu, so I got some Trader uh, Trader Jacks, Trader Vicks, Trader... Vicks? Admiral Nelson. Jones. Admiral Nelson rum, because it's, you know, $15 for a handle, and then this, you know, squeeze bottle of coconut and some orange juice, and I was having, you know, daiquiris, I guess? I don't know. Sudden delicious. So, oh, sun- sunrises? No, what the fuck? Do we have a fucking topic Tequila going sunrise? on right yeah, now besides just drinks? Because we were just talking about food before all this happened. I think we're all hungry. So what else is, or are we talking about even? Were we still in the middle hmm. of something? No. Well, we never talked about the guy that was being pursued in Nebraska. Uh... For assaulting a 17-year-old boy in Grand Island convenience store, who had also been previously arrested for stalking Taylor Swift outside her home in California. Jesus. He was wearing gloves. I think he had but fire starter kit. Did he hurt the 14 or whatever year old? Is that what you said? 17. 13? 17? Barely. Did, almost. Accused. Like, almost. Or accused. assault. Assault. Got hit for assault. Okay, so he's being accused of assaulting someone. Um, good. He I tried mean, to abduct the guy, the teen. The teen got away. They hour should... later, police in Shelton, Nebraska, got a call about a guy wearing latex gloves already walked into the store seeking to buy rubbing alcohol and more latex gloves. I mean... He probably killed someone already. Think about it, though. With a pandemic, you kind of, like, could allow someone like that to walk in. You know, like, yeah, he's fine. He's got he gloves. He had latex gloves, a carrying knife, rope, and ammunition when he got busted outside of t so. Oh, did they see the knife? On him or whatever. Yeah, busted him with it. Well, why they call the cops on him? He was outside her home in a private residence, snooping around, looking at windows and shit. Well, I thought you just said he got busted outside the grocery store. I'm sorry, I'm confused. In 2018, this guy Sandrock was also picked up in California on Taylor Swift's private property outside her home with the items I mentioned. Oh, okay. The rest of this all just happened like this past week or so, last week. And he lives in Grand Island? No. I don't know where he lives. It doesn't say anything about that. Just that he tried to abduct a teenager in Grand Island, and then the teen got away, he got away. 
Then an hour later in Shelton, Nebraska, they got a call about a guy wearing latex gloves. I see. Trying to get more right. shit. Okay. Huh. Damn. This is going on like a killing spree, it sounds like. Well, I mean, to. he's panicked, most likely, you know? I mean, and honestly, Grand Island. It's been a week. Grand Island's not a bad spot to fucking try to kidnap someone. Just like. There's shit that happens Julius during, on I-80, like some child trafficking shit, hmm. you know? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'd have to bring, bring the shit down here, but uh, Debra- like Omaha is like one of the highest hubs for trafficking, yeah. which is like fucking disturbing. It's like, what the fuck? Because I mean, I, I, I do all these conferences. Mafia Don just to meet out here. You what? Mafia Dons. Oh, yeah. Supposedly they're out in like, rural Nebraska around like, Wayne, in between Wayne and like Laurel. They had like old Mafia burial grounds. Fuck are they? And they had to go hide bodies outside I Laurel. I feel like shit. I kind of remember you saying that shit. Huh. Balls. Wait, it's, in the, it's in the middle of the country. Are you talking, about, you're talking about balls? Wayne and Laurel. Oh, they're talking Outside about, of Laurel. I thought you were talking about Ball Cemetery. No. It's a family Because that's cemetery. more of a gangster thing to do, Ball Cemetery. No, the gangster thing to do is find unmarked fucking shallow dirt graves to bury, bury people in. <laughs> That's a good sentence you got there. Shallow <laughs> dirt, shallow grave barrel, what, grave dirt. Way out like west, though? Like, that's a fucking long way to drive back. It was like, well, they had ran a lot of shit out of Chicago back in the day when they were bootlegging alcohol and shit yeah, out of Omaha Canada. Omaha was definitely found on some fucking wild Beef, west shit. Beef, production, and movement, but, and... Of course, being on the Mississippi. Drug running. Sorry, Missouri. Yeah. We're connected to everything. I got it. Well, the interstates also, go all through us. Well, also, being on the Missouri River is, you know, it's a small but really fast river. Oh, yeah. And then it does empty into, you know, Mississippi, which, bam, St. Louis. I think it's St. Louis. And then, bam, you're in St. Louis. It's kind of it's just a nice bam. hub, like, for people to stop at because most people don't really want to go west. Like, there's just, yeah, it's just fucking hills and more lakes, streams, you know. The rest of it have it, yep, you know? lakes and streams. I mean, yeah. think about it though, like hills, grass, people for farming, frontier but like, country. But like most people were also just still traveling up the Miss or Missouri. You know, I don't know. We were just like a little stop by port. Uh, that's probably why Omaha was never got as big as you know Kansas, because Kansas City is. Yeah, that's still. I yeah, mean, it's just like the next stop, you Missouri, know, next big stop, really. Yeah, why is Kansas City so fucking big compared to Omaha? Kansas land's probably better than Nebraska land. Well, it's easier to develop because there's no hills to deal with, mm-hmm. and it sprawls like crazy. That's flat. why it's in two states. Yeah, but it's also going to, like, collapse because of uh, earthquakes. Huh? Kansas? Yeah, all sorts of fracking. Earthquakes? Oh, that's I think it's mostly in Oklahoma, but yeah. yeah. It's happening in Kansas as well. Oh. Well, I'll be here soon, too. This still go all aquifer. Aquifer. <coughs> aquifer. I, mean, I had to clear my throat for you. Ogallala aquifer. I say it. Just fine. The Louisville Ogallala aquifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, the Fuck last... Dear, I thought that was funny. The last war on Earth will <laughs> still be fought over Nebraska. We have all the land. Water. No, Ted Turner has all the land. Well, he'll be one Bill of, Gates. He'll be one of the like. Bill Gates you has know, land in Nebraska. Uh, I don't know about that, but he's buying up the huge expanses of farmland. Yeah, yeah, that's where the money is. Do you ever wonder, like, just like Mad Max style, if Bill Gates and Elon Musk have to like fight it out? <laughs> they There's are a handful of people led by Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and no, who? no, no. I don't know. Separate. Mark Zuckerberg. No, yeah, uh, you know, uh, there's uh, like multiple Alex factions. Jones. Yeah, there could just be an Alex Jones. Yeah. Alex Jones is like totally you. like tied into like a huge speaker system playing guitar. <laughs> no, he's, he's it's gonna be just Mad Max his style. brain. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's multiple guitars coming off of him. Fuck, doof. Look at his the head d- to jar like Futurama. Doof. Yeah, uh, <laughs> doof, doof warrior. I think it was called in Mad Max. That's the guy with the guitar, like the doof warrior. Anyway, it was, I don't know. It's a very dumb thing, but it's fucking made that movie. So much more. Oh, awesome. oh, it was a great movie. It's just also filmed really beautifully. Oh God, it was good. But um, I, saw so, I saw the movie like four times in theaters. I've never seen any other Mad Max movie really fully besides seen, that. You haven't seen. I've Thunderdome? seen clips of them back in the day, but I've never watched a full movie. Have you seen Road Warrior though? Yeah, I've seen like the like chases and shit. No, no, but, like just Road Warrior. Because I didn't know when I was growing up, Mad Max. Mad Max Road Warrior is like the third movie. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, because there's Mad Max, there's Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome with Tina Turner. And, yeah, I like um, that one. 
I've never seen any of them. Or maybe the third. I can't remember which one's which, but I've only ever, I've only ever saw the the actual Road Warrior, where they're. I I don't know. Uh, I think it's uh, the. First I probably, one, maybe. Oh, what am I, he I, gets like his car, and the guy he works it. with two other dudes. It's almost like a bat cave, and they'd always come over and like help work on his car. And <sighs> like we got it up to four hundred and twenty-five horsepower, and he's like, "No way!" And he has to like go, you know, go really fast. See, the car. That's the thing. I've probably go, never go seen fast. whatever that one you call it, the first and second. It's very, it's, yeah, Mel Gibson's super fucking young. I've probably only seen okay, yeah, Mad Road Ma- Warrior. So Mad Max Two is the Road Warrior. That oh, well, I know I've seen Road Warrior. When did it come out? No. Let's mm. play. When did my next two would work come out? 80. 90. Ooh, oh, oh, no. You were so. No, no. <laughs> I'll give it to you. It was in the 80s. 88. I'm trying to remember if I it came even, out. No, no. Maybe even earlier than that. Before or after I was born. If you guys say Mel Gibson's like, young, I would say it's like. I'll say 87. But I think it's like 84. No, I'm going to say 85. 19. 80. Final answer 85. One. Oh shit! It's real old. <laughs> so Mad Max, Mad Max. When did Mad Max come out then? If if if, if Road the Warrior, if Road Warrior came out in eighty one. Oh wow, it's that old. Where did Mad? When did Mad Max come out? Was that before or after it? Chronological? Before. It's the first one. It's Mad the first Max. one. Yeah, Seven, Mad Max two Road Warrior. Like Seventy six then or something. Eight. Seventy nine. Yep. Seventy nine. Came out the same year. No, it, oh, takes, a while. it takes a while for a studio to realize, oh, that Road Warrior was a fucking hit, or whatever the first one was called. Now, Mad Max Beyond... Th- that's a quick turnaround. So I didn't realize Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, that's the third one. So Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome with Tina Turner. Is the third that's one. That's the third movie in the st- franchise. And the, the second one came out in... 81. 81. 85. No. Boom! I'm, oh. Really? Nat 20 on the guess. Never seen a single one of uh, these movies. Okay, when did, uh, <laughs> okay, when did uh, Fury Road come out? That one's the recent one, right? Right, right. God, was that already five years ago or more? 2015. Feels like more. What? 2015. Yep, there you go. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. That just uh, seemed about right. Oops, shit. And now here's a, here's a fun one that I just learned. God damn it. Fuck you, phone. Uh, something I just found out just now in doing this. Furiosa's getting a spinoff. Yeah, I've heard about that for That's a while. That's Furiosa. Uh, uh, Charlie's. Charlie's third. Yeah. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road was probably one of the really last real good, like, good action movies I feel like I've seen in a long time. Like, when does... cinematically beautiful action film, you know? We haven't had like a 300 or like... When does Furiosa come out? When did they announce it? I don't know. I, I, I literally just learned about it just now. Uh, when does it come 23, out? 23, August, summer 2024. I feel like they've been... I feel like I've seen recordings of it. Will you say this year, next year? 24. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it's coming Ooh, out. Ooh, and then there's, then there's a Mad Max The Wasteland. What is this? Ooh. It probably won't even get produced because I guess you know, Furiosa's backstory goes or whatever, right? Is that one of the characters in the mm-hmm. other one? Fury Road. That's yeah. Charlie Stern, you said. Yeah, Charlie Stern with the uh, the black the black ball and the, and the fake arm and the sick ass truck. So will oh, I love that truck. Will what's his name be in it? Tom Hardy. Yeah, maybe, but Tom Hardy's in the one following, which is like the this something that's kind of come out like twenty thirty okay, probably. Okay. Yeah, I like Tom Hardy. Dude, I oh, I love Fury Road. Anyway. It was a really good, really good, beautiful movie. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything like that. Like what compares to that recently? Since oh, that was 2015. 15. What, what's been What's been better Avatar. than that? <laughs> I haven't even seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen Shut it up. either. Shut up. Get the fuck out of here. You're go home. <laughs> Come back in. You're you here. I watched that first one like three times in theaters. You did. Damn. You did. Uh, you drugged me at least twice to it. I I drug, you me. drugged him? Really? I think uh, you, you and Dan and I, we all went to see it at least twice. I, I know you and I for sure. I, I only remember going once, to tell you the truth. Oh. I know I watched it twice in theaters with you. For well, sure. Well, maybe, but... Uh, I enjoyed that first one. It was I a think movie. That, that came out in the same kind of time-ish as uh, Civil War, right? Avengers Civil War? <clears throat> I was out of college. I know that, so... I graduated and... What? December of nine, yeah, dude. No, I, you're thinking Iron Man. Iron Man came out when we were. No, I'm saying when I graduate. I, 
I've never paid that much attention. I mean, I've watched a lot of those movies in theaters. I probably watched almost all the movies to begin with, some way or another. No, I'm, talk, I'm talking. We're talking about movies. I, I, I try to think of that. Came yeah, out. all the Marvel shit. I don't know. I, I've watched it all, but like, I'm not like obsessed. Where some people are just like, know every fucking the whole the, cr- the cr- movie, chronological order of everything. Like, I don't. Fucking Captain know. America three Civil There's War. So That's many what I'm fucking spinoffs about. to keep up on. Fuck. That's one of those. It's like twenty four movies that have happened. He in asked the last a question. I'm trying to answer plus the qu- years. I don't know what question I asked. Oh, uh, okay. When it came out, movie like like crazy like movies that you've seen that, original. Okay, okay. Which oh, oh that better than no? Fuck that. Civil War is not better than Mad Max Fury Road. No, it's not better, but cinematic like that. Like oh my god, I, don't, uh, I, I really like some different War. different type. Uh, Dif- did different. you see Annihilation? Like cinematography. No, I did not see Annihilation. What's that? I know. Uh, that was the uh, Natalie that, Portman alien movie. What? Dude, you haven't seen... You got... What? On Netflix? No. The Wolverine movie was really good. What the fuck? Uh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Not better no. than... No. When he's like doing older this. and shit. I'm You're talking about the this. cinematography. Yeah. I thought that was a well-filmed movie. If only thing I'll maybe... A little bit of a noir to it. Is like maybe a... Okay, okay, I really okay. like. I'm just okay. It came out in 2018, and I'm gonna read just real quick. Natalie Portman, <laughs> Lena, a biologist and former soldier, joins a mission to uncover what happened to her husband and signed Area X, a sinister and mysterious phenomenon that has expanded across the American coastline. <gasps> Once inside, the expedition discovers a world of mutant landscape and creatures and dangerous uh, ellipses. Uh, it is. Did, did a she produce mind it? Fuck. I hate dangerous ellipses. Did she produce it? I don't know. It is a mind fuck. Basically, inside this dome, anything that's in the dome, the DNA starts to mix with each other. Dome. It's fucking insane. It is a wacky fucking movie. I've seen it a bunch. I think I've seen this. Uh, but it won an Oscar for best sound design. What's it called? Annihilation. Annihilation. It won an Oscar. Maybe, maybe it doesn't like it. It won an Oscar for best sound design. Because there's a there's a sequence that like I'm not gonna give it away, but there's like a some like mutated bear that figured out like like mimic human speech and is fucking disturbing. It is like, legitimately bone chilling the sound this thing makes, and someone made this sound. It's disturbing. Ugh. And that Ugh. makes it better. It's than... so good. It's not an action movie though. That's the weird part. It's just a more of like a what the fuck. Yeah, movie. I think I watched this movie. I fucking love it. It's so good. Again, you gotta watch it going into it. What you you know, it's it's not an action movie. It's a okay. it's a psycho okay. movie. Like a psycho right. director of Ex Machina. Mm. Mm. That Speaking was another one. What do you think of Vox Machina? Oh, the new season was fucking great. Yeah, I enjoyed it. That was really good. Is that that Finally anime Dragons. one? Is yeah. that anime one? Yeah, it's on uh, Prime. Uh, Lance Lance Reddick is the main bad dragon, so I like that a lot. Of course. Uh, do you know who Lance Reddick is? No. Uh, yeah, you do. Have you seen John Wick? Oh yeah. He's the hotel guy. He's the concierge, concierge at the hotel. That's. Right. I've Lance only Reddick. seen the original John Wick. Well, whatever. Anyway, uh, you've so, seen the first wait, three. What? Now, right? You haven't seen the new the, any John I Wick because the fourth no. one's coming out like next month. Is it the fourth or the this month on the twenty fourth? I think. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I need. To, I should watch that. Damn, would see it. I haven't been to a theater. You think John Wick's better than over two years? So I wouldn't uh, mind going. You think see John that. Wick's better than uh, Fury Road? Yeah. Ah, uh, so. apples and oranges, man. You can't really compare those two. Mm, fair. They both have amazing cinematography, insane sequences. It's different, a little different style. But obviously, because one's a modern assassin flick and gun violence porn. The other one is post-apocalyptic oh, porn. I was also about to say I really like Django. Unchained. Okay. You know? Yeah, but... When did that come out? That was... Probably oh, shit. Do you know when it came out? 11 or... Uh, I want, I've never played. I've never played this game. You go Derek's going to look it up. I... Oh, fine. I'll do it. No, no, no. I haven't guessed yet. What? <clears throat> what are you saying? Before Django, you Django 2014. Mm, yeah. Maybe. I can't even... I'm kind of confused. Do you remember what I said? No, I didn't hear what you said. Well, it's on the recording. I was right. <laughs> Asshole. I want to say like no, twenty thirteen. Really close, Lane. December twenty fifth, two thousand twelve. Oh, okay. Wow. 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 I had to be long, wow. long enough to go where they could get away with 
The uh, most N words ever said in a movie. I watched Super Bad recently. How many N words were in Super Bad? I don't know. If there, are there some? There's probably it's not. Gotta be. What? In Super Bad? No, I said I watched it recently. Right. How many N words were in Super Bad? <laughs> None. Because, because I don't about, remember them saying anything they like did. that. We're talking about Django, which is the record for oh, the most N words in one movie. Not enough. I would hope not, because I don't even know if there's a black character in that movie. Django? No. <laughs> Super bad. <Oprah. laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a completely different film. That, no, there's a black that guy. That was Jamie Foxx? <laughs> Jamie Foxx is in Super Bad? No, there's a black guy in Super Bad. <laughs> Probably more than one, but there's one specific I can think fuck? of right now. I think it takes place in Canada. Super bad does not take place in Canada. Takes out I'm pretty sure it doesn't take place in the Iowa. backwoods of Georgia. Super bad? No, I'm just kidding. What about New York <laughs> City? Saying, what's that? Super bad meets no, uh, it's some sort of suburb. They're probably like in Wisconsin. They're in downtown size city skyscrapers at the end of the movie when he's wearing the jetpack. Jetpack? You obviously haven't watched the movie. What movie are you talking about? Super bad. Super bad. At the end of the first movie, he has a jetpack on. I don't think we're talking about the same movie. No, you're the thinking... motherfucker. That's kick ass. Kick ass. Kick ass. No, I know because McLovin is in this. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know. That's ah. funny enough. I actually thought about that. Oh, I didn't kick even put yeah. that together. Yeah, because McLovin was the was motherfucker. Yeah. I was saying like a Superman ends in a mall on an escalator. You just rewatched the original Kick Ass. Yeah. I haven't watched the second one, but it was like, I don't know, two weeks ago, probably. You see the second one. The original one is I've still seen them both. holds up as being funny. Yeah, the second one is like... It's okay. Eh. It's okay. You can watch it. I've only seen the second one. You'd hope there would be still be a third one at some point. Eh. There's, they left Aaron, I think Aaron Tyler Johnson is too big to do it again. Right. Oh, the main character guy? Up. Yeah, what is he? Who is he right now? Right, okay. So Aaron James Tyler Bond. Johnson... But he's also done something big here recently. Uh, he was on Bullet Train. Godzilla. Recently. Most Bullet recently, Train. I've seen. Oh, I like Bullet Train. Bullet what else would I recognize great. him from? Yeah. I haven't seen Bullet Train. Yeah, yeah, uh, Godzilla. But that's the thing. I, I, every time I talk about Godzilla. Aaron Taylor Johnson, is like I watch him in, in Godzilla. I go, oh, that guy looks familiar. Then I, and I, but I'm like, huh. Except, I can't tell who the fuck he is. He's so good. I don't know who it is. He was also John Lennon. Until like halfway through the movie. Oh, and I yeah. go, oh shit, that's Aaron Tyler Johnson. No, He's boy. so fucking good. Because he, he's, he's kick-ass. He's a guy from Godzilla. He's in Bullet Train. And, he's John Lennon. Okay. I've In what movie? Nowhere Boy. I remember looking I him up that. when I was mom. watching a movie and I nice. saw all the shit he was uh, There was a few things I, I recognized. I was like, oh yeah, wow. But yeah, he's, 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 so, he's so good. You don't know who he is. That's that he's so good. He, he makes those roles so good. He, in I Bullet know. Train, you he would always, never fucking guess that's anyone else. I felt like I I was it took me a little while, but I was like, holy fuck. Dude, Aaron Todd Johnson is the shit. I think he's one of the best actors working, just because I go, oh fuck. I always, I, I recognize I have him. always enjoyed him and everything. Even as Quicksilver. I love him as Quicksilver. Yeah. In the well, it depends was, on which he just, Quicksilver. Like, didn't have any yeah. character. I like them though. He's but, fun. Yeah, he's he, a smart he, ass. He, I like he could do a job. He was better at kick ass. He was great at kick ass. Well, of course. Is the, but the, that's such an original, you know. Yeah. And if he might be James Bond, would be would be dope. He, he could do it. He could absolutely pull that off. Yeah. Absolutely. Fucking absolutely. What was that Rain Wilson movie? But super. He was super. A, yeah. That's with, with, with uh, Ellen Page. Yeah. yeah super. Have you seen that? Apparently? Yeah, I've seen it multiple times. Dude, you, oh, I've always saw it once. You, I'm like, oh do my you god. Know who directed that? No. It. Pretty sure it was James Gunn, the new really? DC creator, which is hilarious. You went from Marvel to DC. That's hilarious. Well, no, Super was just like. Uh, no, James Gunn. Oh yeah, he definitely You're did right. the Marvel ones. 2010 American black comedy superhero film written and directed by James Gunn. And yeah. starring and, and, Rain Wilson, Elliot Page, that like Tyler f- Kevin Bacon. Like, and that guy, Derek, that guy now has in, is in charge of DC films. And they canned they canned a bunch of shit. Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck probably aren't coming back. That's, yeah. Probably not even Wonder Woman or Gal Gadot. That shit's yeah, a movie. Or right uh, now. I think there's like there's a couple movies. There's like The Flash and something else is coming out yet. 
that like is like the old shit. Yeah, Flash. But like they're gonna do like a reset, I think, with Flash. What about the Fendor? Oh, there was it's Aquaman. There's James Momoa will be one more movie or whatever. But I'm really surprised they're still coming out with Flash with all the controversy with Ezra Miller. You know, Look, John, have you seen Defendor? I guess not. I don't know about that. One. Oh, you do. I do. I do. I don't know who did it. I don't know. That's who did got it. a it's Woody uh, Harrelson. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. He plays like it's like Forrest Gump meets Vigilante. <laughs> But it's also it's just as dark as Super. Yeah, not not as, not as quirky probably as Super. Oh shit! For, Super starts off quirky, but it gets dark, uh, real dark. Are you able to say what time it is? Is it your time? Yeah, I gotta go. At eight o'clock, you have to go. Yeah, because I gotta be off at seven in the morning. And your alarm goes off on your phone. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, you always get notified about it. No, I just checked. Oh, fuck, what time is it? It's exactly, though. That alarm didn't go off on the phone. I just checked the time. Okay, okay. God damn it. I just wanted to... Are you calling Dragon Cafe? Who's calling? Dragon Cafe? <laughs> Who are you calling? Someone's calling into us. I'm debating whether or not I should pick it up. Pick it up. Who, 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 who is call- it? Welcome to Trash Talk. Oh, that's so loud. <laughs> Hi, Jess, dog. Oh, gross. Ew. I don't want to talk. Who do we have uh, calling yeah. in today? Um, my name is Emily. <laughs> What's your butt look like? <laughs> oh, awkward sounds. Okay, it's Carly. We, we were laughing. Did you mute me? I didn't laugh, actually. I, I was definitely laughing. Yeah, no, Lane and, and John laughed. What's your, what's your you butthole look mean? like? It's Samsonite. Oh, 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 wrong person. I'm sorry. I apologize. That was very rude. No, you're not muted. We can hear you. Hello? We, we can, can hear you. <laughs> you're not, you're... Yeah, you could hear me, but I couldn't hear you. Whoa, how about now? You Are you muting her? Sorry, we're having technical difficulties. Can you hear us? Yeah, bullshit. Carly, thank you for calling in. What would you like to talk about tonight? Excellent. I'm in. <laughs> Just kidding. It's only a Tuesday. How have you gone down that rabbit hole already? Let's talk about the S&P 500 and the BBC 12-inch. How did she know we were playing Rorschach test? <laughs> <laughs> about the what? Rorschach test. John wants the to know Rorsch- how did she know we were talking about Rorschach tests. I don't know what Rorschach test is. Oh, Ink blot. Ink, we, ink blot test. We, we read your mind. No, that's not that. What else do you see? Blot test. What's that? What else do you see? What the fuck? What do I see? I see an empty road. The fuck is happening? She's just driving. I'm driving a Porsche. You all used to. She she what? doesn't have the uh. Speed on uh, the speed limit, right? Oh, she's, she's got the Porsche right now. The other car is getting an oil change. Wait, and a rotor car is a Porsche? What the fuck? Uh, it's getting updated. My other car is getting updated to... The Mercedes. I don't know why it's taking yeah. more than two days, but it's... Apparently, there's a lot of shit wrong with it. I must have popped another four tires and that three more rooms. <laughs> That's a good sense. But your loader was a fucking... All right. What kind of Porsche? My owner? I don't have an owner. Loner. The loaner vehicle. Oh no, my loaner vehicle is my father's vehicle. I'm so I'm driving a Porsche. Oh, well, drive I thought it, drive they it gave you one while you were in the shop. Okay, I'm really it, confused. But is, is it Porsche or is it it's, Porsche? It's Porsche. That's how it's pronounced. Porsche. I call it a Porsche, but people who think they're cool call it a Porsche. Thank you. Porsche. Wait, wait, is it, you don't have driving gloves for that? John, what do you Porsche? think of Porsche Double Day? No, I don't need driving gloves. There's a heated steering wheel. <laughs> Mr. Robot. Sounds pretty dope. Sounds pretty dope. What kind of what kind of Porsche? I don't fucking know anything about cars. Cayenne. I'm driving it and trying not to get it. No, in. it's not a Cayenne. Fuck you. It's spicy. What is it? It's not as I big as a Cayenne. It's it like more a hatchback style. And then it says so pretty zippy too. Is it's it real a fast. Can? I don't know. Is it an SUV or, or a car? I only drove it once. It's a hatchback. It's like a it's a small SUV. 
Port McCann. So it's Portia McCann. 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 You driving McCann? McCann. 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 Sam said I can. I can drive it over if you want to see it. Is it four seater? It's, it's a, a four. It's, third. it's a one, two, three, four. I mean, you can fit a fifth if they're skinny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a scale leader. I'm just trying to imagine this thing here. Is it? It's obviously curved. So, what? Do you got any trash to talk? You've been driving <laughs> it for curved? two days. Fuck what? You, what's dude. your opinion on driving the car it's now? Curved. It's curved. It's sporty. It's fun. I'm kind of shouldn't be driving. I know that I am. Hey, I, did you notice that I uh, uh, scraped your windows for you this morning? You scraped my windows for me. She didn't notice. Ha ha! Didn't know. Because they were a little spotty. It was like kind of hard to see out of them this way. So it was kind of like a test and drive until I got to about Center Street. And then finally the heat kicked in. And then you parked your car and was at work. Well, I was about halfway to work when I could see again. Yeah. That's safe. That's, 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 that's safe. I've been there. I've been there. I've done the exact same thing. Oh, great. I can see. Well, I'm here. You know. <laughs> So what are we doing tonight? I'm leaving. You know, it's pop. Yeah, you know, you're the last caller for the show tonight. Yeah. So after this phone oh, call, we're wrapping it up. Two callers? Okay, I better make it good. We were hoping you were going to bring us pie. Yeah, so far, it, it's kind of... You can save it, though. You can save it. Save what? I can save my pie for later. Bring me pie! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's pie day. We didn't even talk about oh, that. Oh, fuck, it's pie day! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Yeah. Who's eating pie? I gotta go. You tell me. I'm eating pie, apparently. That's my pie. Meat pie. I didn't say I meat pie. pie. I said I'm eating pie. Oh, wait. He said that. He said, meat and pie. You gotta meat do pie. Meat pie. Huh? We know John likes meat pie. The fuck does that mean? I prefer a cream pie. He likes meat in his pie. Banana cream pie is my favorite. Dipping his meat in pie. Oh, is it? Nothing wrong with that, right? Technically, it's coconut cream pie. What? My favorite pie is coconut cream pie. Is your favorite pie coconut cream pie? Yes. Why is my favorite cream? Why is my pie? That's Derek. Oh, God, no, she's only I can like cream pie. Be meat pie. You like meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is I happening? John likes banana pie. I, I, I like I like a. Uh, I also like the cream pie. <laughs> I like rhubarb pie. That's the one kind of pie. Rhubarb like. pie is a good one. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I just wanted to call him pie. I got stuck with meat pie. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, this has been Trash Talk. Thanks for calling us, Ugh. Carly. And, yeah, uh, you got any last second trash before we end the show? Are you ending the show? Yeah, we're ending the show. John has oh. to go home. Who has to go home? John. Don't make me that to be a bitch. You literally said you had to go home and end it at eight. Yeah, you're yeah, sounding like a little bitch right now. All right, well, fair enough. Stop word, sounding word. like a little bitch and be a man. I'm good. Have a beer. Nope. Tough words from Carly. Yeah, fuck you. I'll fight you. Well, thank you for tuning in. Oh, come on. All right. Fuck off. Fuck you both. Bye, Carly. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, well, she goes on.